guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph, just in case you are new here, and today I'm doing a Christmas stocking stuffers guide. Now, I feel like this is also kind of just like a cheap small gift guide, so however you want to look at it, I have 15 items for you that should cover a bunch of people, I hope. My philosophy with gifts and gift giving is to try and give things that are actually useful and really practical. So, I mean, I can go and ask people, like, what do you need? What do you want? All that kind of stuff. And for bigger presents, I definitely do that. But for smaller little knickknacks and that kind of thing, I just give things that are really helpful and practical, I think, to pretty much anyone. So, before I get right into it, I would love to have you as part of my internet family. You can use the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel and see further videos from me. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you get notified when I actually upload and YouTube actually lets you know because we all know the YouTube algorithm can be a bit funny sometimes. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel and also helps me to know what videos that you guys like to see, which is very important because I make videos so you guys can view them. <laughs> and also, because this is a gift guide, obviously I will put links to everything that I can down below. I've tried to do a range of things that you can find like online on Amazon, but also in store, so places like Kmart, Woolies, Coles, all that, because I want to make sure that this is accessible and not just everything's online, I guess, because I know some people really like to shop in store for gifts. So without further ado, let's get into it. This item I actually found this morning and took a screenshot of it. So I'll put the screenshot here because I don't know if I'll be able to find a proper product picture. So this is actually from Aldi and it is a brow kit. I love this. I actually am going to go and try and grab one myself to see what the quality is like. But from everything I've heard, Aldi makeup products are actually really good. So as you will have seen, this brow kit includes three different colored brow powders, which as someone that dyes their hair and changes their hair color frequently, I really appreciate that. It also has a brow wax, it's got some highlighters, it's got a pencil, it's got tweezers, a spoolie, and it also has a brush, of course, to put the products on. So I think this is a fantastic kit. It's really, really pretty. I love how much you get in it. Like there's a lot of wide variety of colors and things that you will be able to use over time because I mean this would probably last you ages and it's so pretty they've presented it so nicely and it's 10 bucks so highly recommend that for any makeup lover in your life or even just someone that might be trying to dabble in makeup this is a really great starter kit for brows I personally find that using brow powder or even eyeshadow powder is a really easy way to start dabbling with doing your eyebrows. It's what I've used on my eyebrows, so highly recommend it for pretty much anyone, really. Okay, number two is also makeup related. I've tried not to put too many makeup related items, mostly because I don't actually think that buying a lot of makeup products for people is very helpful. People prefer different things, all that kind of stuff. But this, I think pretty much anyone that uses makeup, even simple makeup uses, will benefit from this and that is a really nice set of makeup brushes. So I've put links to two different packs down below, an Eco Tools pack and a Real Techniques pack. They're both on iHerb, they're such a bargain on iHerb, hands down always recommend getting brushes off iHerb. I have both Eco Tools and Real Techniques brushes, they make up the bulk of my makeup brushes and they are really really nice brushes highly recommend them and they are around $12 to $20 depending on what kit you get. Okay number three is a super practical one and that is a car vent phone clip. So I'll put a picture here of one that I found on Amazon just so that I could link you guys to something. I think you can also get these at Kmart for like $4. They're so helpful. I have one in my car. I love these vent clips. They're so use so useful, so easy to use. You don't have to fight with the window and have them like fall off the windshield and all of that. They're so great for pretty much any phone or anyone that drives a car. Number four is a house plant. So I am becoming more of a plant lover and trying to get really good with house plants. Now I think, I think I just said house plant and house plant. 
just go with it. <laughs> so I actually have one here that I got from, I think this was from Woolies. And um, it's just a friendly little guy with a cute little pot. And I have another one just over there, which is same pot but grey. And it's a little fern. And they're just, they're so stinking cute, honestly. And I think these ones were... $15 I want to say. So Woolworths and Coles have a lot of really great little plants that you can give at the moment that come in really cute pots and I mean plants are just generally great to have around. They're great for air quality, they're great for people so highly recommend giving those. It's not so much something you can put in a stocking but I still recommend them. Number five is a battery pack. I have listed a really good bargain of a battery pack that I found on Amazon down below. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack, which is huge. You can also get battery packs at Kmart. Kmart has some pretty good deals on them and they're about $30. And the one on Amazon is also $30. I think battery packs are useful for pretty much anyone, anywhere. <laughs> Let's be honest, we're all on our devices a lot these days, especially if you are taking public transport to work and you like to watch Netflix or something, it can drain your battery really fast. We don't always have a way to charge things while we're out, so I think battery packs can be super useful. I will just mention, I'm pretty sure there's a limit, um, like a power limit that you can take on a plane, and I think don't quote me on this, it's either 10,000 or 20,000 milliamp hour is the limit that you can take on a plane. Just a warning, so worth researching if you're going to travel anywhere on a plane. But I think battery packs are amazing, they're so helpful. Number six, to go along with the battery pack, buy someone a phone cord. Even if you don't buy them a battery pack, buy someone a phone cord. If you are anything like me, you are always running out of phone cords or they break or you need a new one for your car or something and I think having a spare one around is always really helpful. I've linked a pack down below that I found on Amazon that was like, it's a three pack I'm pretty sure, for $17. Three pack of three meter cords, so they're nice long ones for $17 for iPhone cords and I just, honestly if someone gave me iPhone cords I think that was the best thing ever. It's, I know that it's kind of a boring gift and I guess that's probably why it counts as a stocking stuffer but I just think it's so practical. We're always needing phone cords so don't buy me some random moisturizer that's gonna sit in my cupboard. Buy me a phone cord. Number seven is a kitchen must-have in my opinion and that is a little handheld food chopper. You can find these at Kmart. They start at around six dollars. You can also buy them online various places. Tupperware has one that is ridiculously priced. Don't buy the Tupperware one. <laughs> um, I mean, they're very good quality, don't get me wrong, but we're talking stocking stuffers and cheap gifts here, so let's just keep it cheap. But the one I've listed down below is $14, I think, and they're so helpful. I cry within seconds of cutting an onion, so having something that I can just chuck the big chunks of onion in and zhuzh it up makes my life amazing and it means that you can cut things really finely, really quickly. You can also put other fruit, other fruits, probably not so much fruits, but you can put other vegetables in them and they're just so helpful. Highly recommend them. Number eight is also kind of a kitchen sort of item and that is a travel mug. If you have been paying attention to the media at all advertising recently, Everyone is definitely getting on the travel mug train, which I think is really great. It's great for the environment, but also a lot of cafes now are doing special deals. I know 7-Eleven, not that they're a cafe, but 7-Eleven had a free coffee month, I think it was, where if you brought a travel cup or a keep cup, you would get your coffee for free for an entire month. Um, and a lot of cafes these days give like a 10% discount or something if you've got a travel mug. So if the friend or family member in your life doesn't have one, get them one. Not only are you doing a great thing for the environment, but you are also doing them a favor and saving them some money on their morning coffee. Number nine is another eco-friendly product, which you'll probably see a theme here in my list, and that is reusable, foldable shopping bags. They are handy, they're eco-friendly, they are... So convenient. I love the ones that fold up into little like bundles because I keep them in my handbag, in my glove box, pretty much anywhere. I'm pretty bad at forgetting to bring my shopping bags into the store with me. They always end up 
sitting in my boot or I end up leaving them in the house and forgetting to take them back down to the car. So having a spare one that I can keep in my handbag in case of emergencies is fantastic and I also find that this is great for shopping in stores that aren't Woolworths and like grocery stores because obviously I've got my eco-friendly like I've got my reusable bags for grocery shopping but I don't really have a lot of reusable bags just for everyday shopping. So I think these are fantastic. I found a pack of five for, what is it? It's five for $35. So this would be a really great like solid present for someone, but also you could buy the pack and split it up between five friends and there you have it. And at just over, I think six to $7 per bag, that's a pretty good stocking stuffer. And they're super cute too. Number 10 is reusable straws. I specifically am loving silicon straws at the moment. I've got my eye on a couple of sets that are super colorful and fun. I love the colorful aspect of straws and I love the reusable aspect of silicon straws. I also am not a fan of the texture of metal and like the coldness and stuff. So I think that silicon straws are pretty great. And I, yeah, I found a couple of great packs online. I think Aldi has them at the moment, but I don't know if they'll still be around by the time this video gets up, but highly recommend silicon straws. They're super fun. The pack that I found is $12. So really great bargain. Comes in a pouch, comes with a little like cleaning wand thing and everything. So you're good to go. Number 11 is socks. I don't know about you, but I feel like socks is one of those things that you're always going to need. Even if you don't need them right now, you can pop them away in the cupboard and you will need them later. My husband, Matt, especially goes through socks like no one's business because he is on his feet all day, every day. So highly recommend getting people some socks. It's not hard. You can buy them from Kmart if you need to. Buy someone some socks. Number 12 is a similar sort of thing, I guess in that I feel like we're always going through them, but bobby pins. If you know the person in your life has long hair and they are always trying to tie it back, buy them a pack of bobby pins. It's a great stocking stuffer. I don't know about you, but I am always losing my bobby pins and having to go and buy another pack. I mean, I don't go through them super quickly, but I definitely end up needing to buy another pack, so highly recommend buying bobby pins. Number 13 is some essential oil mini blends. Now these can actually be a really great um, budget present, especially if you already use essential oils. But even if you don't, you can buy just a couple of oils. They might cost you a little bit, but you can make so many sets it's not funny and they'll be so helpful for you in the long run as well. And a lot of essential oils do uh, like don't expire for at least two years. So you can keep these for ages. I'll insert some uh, footage here of a little mini set that I've made myself to keep in my handbag. And the little itty bitty rollers, I got the rollers off Amazon I think, or eBay. Either way, I'll link some down below in case you want to buy some. So if you want to make maybe four or five sets and buy them in bulk, it will be way cheaper. You put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, which I will also link down below. I got mine at iHerb. Uh, put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, a little bit of the oils, and you can make your own essential oil blends and I find them so helpful. I have some for headaches and digestion issues and stress relief and all those kinds of things. And it's kind of like a little medicine kit that I carry around with me in my handbag. So I find those super helpful. If you would like a more detailed version on how to make these, I could definitely make that video. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely comment down below and I'll try and make that video for you guys. Number 14, this one costs absolutely nothing except the paper that you printed on <laughs> and that is a little coupon book so if you are a little bit strapped for cash and don't have a lot of money to be spending on presents this year that is totally fine i love giving coupon books so there's heaps of them on pinterest i'll link a couple below that work whether it's giving it to your spouse whether it's a friend family member and essentially it's just hey I love you I want to do these things for you and so it could be wash their car bring them lunch put fuel in their car um, give them a shoulder rub like depending on who it is and what kind of stuff you want to give them I I honestly think coupon books are such a great present they're really heartfelt they they've definitely got the personal touch to them so I will link some down below for you guys from Pinterest that you can just print out yourself, cut up and make at home. Number 15 and our last gift idea for this video is a phone slash tablet holder. 
I think they're the ones that double, as they do both a phone and a tablet, obviously at different times. <laughs> I think they are the best bang for your buck and the most versatile gift. I found one online that I am going to snatch up myself because I'm always watching things on my iPad or on my phone and having that stand and being able to carry it around or even being able to use it as a recipe holder. I use a lot of recipes on my iPad um, from Pinterest or various websites and so being able to have a stand for that would be so helpful and I found a really great one. It's $15 for a stand and it's very, um, it looks very versatile, you can move it around, you can use it with your phone, you can use it with your tablet and I think everyone uses their phone or tablet to watch things on so I think this is again an another really practical gift that pretty much anyone will use. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any other gift suggestions or stocking stuffer ideas that you are giving this Christmas, definitely pop them in the comments down below so that other people can go and check them out as well because obviously this is not an exhaustive list. <laughs> and I hope you guys are having a great Christmas season, holiday season so far and I'll catch you in my video tomorrow. Bye. One, because not only are you doing a great thing for the... In, <laughs> no, 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 no.